I'm down here in Vegas right now. Last night I went to go see Cirque du Soleil, Miss Stare. Um, it was live, of course. It's where I got the hat. It's not where I got the mask. I have got that here at the Rio in Vegas. The show was absolutely amazing. Um, it was great music, uh, awesome, awesome stunts, right? Like, like, there was this one part in the show where these two people, a man and a woman, they just twirled around in air and just, they fucking slingshotted each other all around the fucking auditorium. It was insane. Right up after that, the couple next to me, they just got up and left the fucking theater, not even midway through. Right after seeing, you know, this spectacle, it was crazy. You know, there was like this big fat baby guy who's like the buffoon of the picture, the show, I guess. And like throughout the entire show, he just kept like throwing this like guy, uh, like, um, like at first, like he threw this ball towards this guy and this guy threw it back and like he kept calling him like Papa. It was very funny, right? Cause this guy got uh, like, uh, you know, you know, they really brought the people in front row um, into the spotlight along with the cast. Like honestly, you know, if I, could do it again, I, I'd get a uh, seat in the front row. I was all the way in the fucking back with this annoying family. But then, like, this couple moved, and I got some extra leg room. So, all in all, I guess it kind of equals out. <sighs> you know, like, they just had like this, I can't really explain it in words because like it's all these people doing acrobatic stunts dressed head to toe like in uh, like in like gesture uniforms and like harlequin suits and stuff like it's weird it's hard to explain there's like this guy with this long tail on his head I don't know what that's about there's you know uh well, like, by the end, they, the, they brought out these giant drums, and they beat on them until this giant snail god rose from the center of the stage, began to dance and blink its eyes. I mean, look, where are you ever going to see that else in your entire life? Like, only here in Vegas. Like, I don't know, maybe somewhere like in a European country or something. <clears throat> uh, but anyway... Really great music. The trapeze part, they had like... They would have like four people. They could have like four people at once doing the trapeze. And they were all like standing off to the sides twirling around, catching each other. It was absolutely brilliant. Um, a real visual just spectacle, you know? Um, yeah. Uh, I don't think I'm going to be able to make it to uh, Cirque du Soleil. <coughs> oh, that's their other... Uh, one of their other performances going on right now. I know there's also like a Beatles one, but you know, I'd rather go see these two instead of that one. I don't know if they're doing other shows at the moment. I didn't do any prior research really. Um. Yeah.
I'm going to see Shin Lim tonight. Can't wait. Finn and Teller on Friday. Um, Chris Angel Wednesday. David Copperfield Thursday. Sadly, I don't have anything for Tuesday. I feel that I'm probably just going to have to check out the erotic museum or the haunted museum. I haven't decided which. And just hope that's, you know, passes the time until Wednesday. Yeah, cool show. I definitely recommend Cirque du Soleil Mystère. Um, wonderful little performance. Really just something you have to see for yourself to really get. I don't know what else to say. Bye.